Hello friends, welcome to automationtalks.com. Myself Prakash Narkade and here uh, uh, today I'll explain uh, about how to create a Maven project and Eclipse IDE which will be for Selenium. Fine. So in my last tutorial, in my last video I talked about how to install Maven. So there are two ways to install Maven. First one is uh, we can install directly in Eclipse and second one is uh, we can install it in your machine by manually downloading the maven from apache uh, uh, website which is the official website and then we can configure it in your uh, environment variables and then into our eclipse ide so today let us talk about how to create a project in eclipse ide so i am assuming that like um, maven is installed in your uh, machine and configured it in Eclipse IDE so what you do is uh, for creating new project how do we create a Java project in the similar way cre uh, create on file click on new and here you don't find uh, if you don't find here uh, a Maven project then go to other and you can find here Maven and under Maven you can find a Maven project right so you will find this once you have installed Maven into your uh, Eclipse IDE or into your machine and configured into Eclipse IDE so I urge you to go through this uh, Maven tutorial and here I have how to download and install Maven in Eclipse IDE you can find it on my blog automationtalks.com under continuous integration tools and Maven tutorials right so here I have explained it in uh, uh, step by step with screenshot uh, uh, I have explained um, in both the ways first one is using Eclipse ID and second one is uh, install it in your machine and then configure fine so uh, okay select my one project click on next so here couple of things F uh, first one is create a simple project skip archetype selection right so about this archetype I'll uh, cover it in my next tutorial so as of now what you do is you just uh, will just check this so that it will not take you to archetype selection I if I'm not uh, checking this then you can see it is asking me to select the archetype asking for version artifact ID and group ID right so I'll for now I'll just create a simple project so that it will skip this and wh wh where should be your workspace do you want to use your default workspace yes then select this if you want to add a project to working set you can do this by browsing from here I don't want I'll not check this now click on next now here you need to add few things group ID artifact ID and version and packaging right so packaging could be your jar var or pom right so it is nothing but after compiling okay let me talk about this group ID first group ID you can and enter a valid name let us say normally we do enter our company name over here com and then artifact ID could be your project name so my project name let us say demo web this is my project name and version so if you check the drop down there are version 001 and 1.0 so 001 is the when when you started and once you finished your project you can uh, change it to 1.0 that is the final version right so I'll click on 001 since this is a draft version right and packaging packaging is nothing but it can be a a jar file or a var file or a pom file so this is nothing but after compiling your source code by using maven build tool uh, what packaging should be generated should it create a jar file should it create a var file right B that that will be used for our further processing right so that is how you need to enter group id artifact id version and packaging click on finish now you can see creating a project demo web and here you can find the demo web is created though it is creating fine now here you can find okay not demo web shop it should be demo web fine it is demo web and here you can find multiple folder like source main java source main resources test java test resources and a jre which we will be using 
fine and along with that you can find something called a source folder so this is the tree structure of these folders and the target folder after execution you will see something under this target folder and pom.xml so this is the beauty of the maven which provides you the folder structure for your project so main so the, this this provides you the folders for test writing the test as well as for writing a java Pro, uh, i can say java models project models right so if 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 you have you if you are writing something core then you can go to this test java or main java based on your uh, area and if you if you are writing specific resources like the commonly used uh, resources commonly used module or the resources like external resources which can be your uh, properties file then your data some, something like that right so you can go to this resources folders right so now since this is a uh, maven project we need not to uh, go to build path and then configure build path and add external jars right that is not required in uh, maven project because in maven project we can add a dependencies and based on the dependencies we will get the jar files downloaded into our machine right so let us see how we can do that here you can see something called as pom.xml that is pom is nothing but project object model so I'll just click on this pom.xml now here you can see something overview and these things I have selected group ID, artifact ID, version and packaging right so if you want to see the xml pom.xml is the xml file then go to the last tab pom.xml and here you will find xml file now in this xml the details I have entered you can find it over here right now what i need to do i want to add a jar files and the jar files can be added by adding the dependencies right so how we can do that first just type uh, dependencies right so under this dependencies we will add a different dependency right so dependency now i need a dependency for uh, what i can say selenium and then I need a dependency for test ng. Then I need a dependency for uh, POI and something else, right? So I need all the dependencies to be added in my uh, project, right? So how we can do that? Fine. So for adding the dependencies, what you can do is you can go to uh, Google and just enter. Uh, selenium maven dependency then go to this uh, maven repository and here you can find uh, I want it for selenium java and I want it for version let us say 2.5.3 and what you can do is here you can find a dependency directly coded over here right so what you can do is you can just click on this copy this and add under this dependencies right so can you see one dependency is added right now what you want yeah, I want the dependency for test ng so you can just search here test ng you can click on this I want let us say for the latest version just copy this and add it like this right so just save this once you save this uh, just uh, just add all your dependencies whichever you want I have added for selenium and test engines you can add it for Apache POI then uh, for JXL or whatever wherever you want like for a DB connection or something like that right so you can just go to maven repository mvn repository.com and search your dependencies like let us say Apache POI you can find Apache POI dependencies over here right so you can find all dependencies on this maven repository now what you do is now can you just observe the dependencies I have added the dependencies but still the jars are not added into my project so what you can do is you can right click on your project go to maven and update project update project uh, 
click check on force update and click on ok now can you find updating maven project 25 percent you can see something here and uh, the progress now just keep observing over here and now it will download all your dependencies into your project if you click on this progress bar then you can see updating a maven project and it is downloading some dependencies here right so if your internet speed is very fast then you can see this is happening quickly so for me it is happening it is updating so just wait for a few seconds Okay, and you see the maven project is updated and as soon as the project is updated you can see a maven dependencies over here right you can see all the dependencies which I have added in, in this form.xml are added into this folder right now you can create a your uh, you can start coding uh, your coding in any of the folder based on your um, type what, what you are doing so I'm just creating one sample sample test and okay okay so what I'll do I'll just create one test fine now let me add at the red test annotation right so now can you see I have not imported any jar for test ng the jar is taken from this maven dependencies now you can start your coding test class right and you can run this as a test ng test first time if, if you uh, create a project and run it it will take some time can you see the test case is executed and on the console you can see uh, test class which I have printed right so this is how we can create a maven project add a dependencies and start your coding in a maven project right so that's it about creating a maven project in eclipse ide in my coming tutorials i'll talk more about this uh, maven project m more details about this maven project maven lifecycle and few other things thanks for watching